Well, hello and welcome again to another Shed Talk. I did say in my last talk that I would show you things that had been given to me uh, as gifts. And just recently I received this gift from a, a, a lady who listens to the Shed Talks. Isn't that lovely? Welcome to the Shed, where great projects start. I just love that. So thank you, thank you very much indeed. And I, I just like to uh, think uh, for us to think about that this morning. Welcome to the shed where great projects start. Of course, at this time of the year, we are thinking of another shed, a cattle shed. We're not quite sure if it was a shed, but uh, it, it certainly wasn't in the inn because there was no room for them in the inn. So it was an outbuilding where there were animals. Could have been a cave, but uh, let's think of it as a shed, a cattle shed. You know, the lovely uh, hymn, Once in Royal David City, as the Lord Chorister comes in in King's College, Cambridge, and sings that solo. Once in Royal David City stood a lowly cattle shed where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed. Mary was the mother mild, Jesus Christ, the little child. But the second verse goes on. He came down to earth from heaven, who is Lord and God of all. So as we think about the cattle shed, yes, this is where the, if I can put it in these terms, reverently, I hope, the project took shape in the cattle shed, but the start was way back in eternity when God planned a people for himself so that they would know him and enjoy him and share that fellowship and communion with him and he enjoy them, which is the most amazing thing. That was the plan and the design and all the preparation that went into it. And all the things leading up to it through the Old Testament. One piece of revelation after another. But then we come to the shed. Where everything came to fruition. Where Jesus was born. He who is Lord and God of all. He took upon himself our flesh. God became flesh and dwelt among us. So... Welcome to the shed, where great projects start. And we come to this shed again this Christmas time. Uh, but the word, do you know the first word? Welcome. And we can come. We can come right in because we are welcome. Up till now in the Old Testament, there seemed to be one barrier after another. Uh, you know, even in the temple, there was a multiple of barriers. There was the barrier between the nations and Israel. Then there was the barrier between, after Israel, there was the barrier between the men and women. Then there was the barrier between the men and the priests. Then there was the barrier between the priest and the high priest. He could only go into the holy place and even once a year. So there was barrier after barrier. But listen to these words from Ephesians chapter 2. For he himself, as Jesus, is our peace, who has made the two one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility, by abolishing in his flesh the law with its commandments and regulations, his purpose was to create in himself one new man out of the two, out of Jew and Gentile, thus making peace, and in this one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, by which he put to death the hostility, their hostility. He came and preached peace to you who were far away, and peace to those who are near, for through him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit, Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and aliens, but fellow citizens with God's people and members of God's household. 
He has broken every barrier down. And the word surely is welcome. Welcome. You can come now. When he, when Mary and Joseph appeared at the inn, no welcome. It sort of almost typified things, isn't it? You, you can come so far, but you cannot come any further. But he came to break every barrier down. Welcome. Welcome to the shed where great projects start. This is the greatest project of all. In my uh, notebook, uh, I copied this little piece down many years ago. I, I don't know who the author is, uh, but let me read it to you. Happy motherhood, helpless infancy. But this is what the picture cannot give. The infant is the incarnate Son of God, taking on him for our sakes, our flesh, infancy and poverty, and afterwards shame and death, to win this lost world back to God and to peace. Outside that little shed, were empires and religions and nations struggling for the mastery, all of which, though they seem solid as the earth, have long since perished. Inside, in that manger, was the seed of new life, which has been growing ever since, the life that was to renew the world. Oh, listen to these last words now. Outside. Outside that shed was pomp and strife and tumult and war and ruin. And inside was poverty, peace and redemption. Oh. Praise God for the shed. A place where in time, through his life and death and burial and resurrection and ascension, every barrier was to be broken down. And the seed of new life, eternal life. Welcome to the shed where great projects start. This Christmas, yes, it'll be different. And outside there is strife still, and tumult, and wars, and bickering, and arguing, and division. Oh, but oh, may we, inside, inside our hearts, and inside our homes, may we find that peace, and that redemption anew. Thank you for joining me in this consideration. Thank you for the notice. Happy Christmas. And God bless you. Amen.